Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and I post videos all about beauty, luxury, lifestyle. So if you're into that kind of content, then definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a part two to my Sephora VIB sale haul. If you missed my part one, which was full of repurchases, I will go ahead and link that down below and I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. And this video is part two to that Sephora haul and this is more like fun, new to me makeup rather than just repurchases. So if you wanna see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. All right, so I made my first Sephora order and I was focused just on like things I knew I needed, skincare, repurchases, which like I mentioned in the intro, I have that video linked down below. But I wanted to make a second order of more like fun stuff. It's been so long since I've ordered any new makeup. I've been doing really well. I've been trying not to overbuy makeup. But since it was the sale and I had done so well of not really ordering anything frivolous, I wanted to really try some new products. I had so many things on my loves list and I was like, what the heck, it's on sale. Let me just go ahead and pick up some new makeup. So we're just gonna dive right into the box here. A couple of these things are like essentials kind of and one of them is a repurchase. So actually two things are a repurchase. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing that's kind of just an essential is this Beauty Blender and Beauty blend Blender Cleanser Duo. I am almost out of my Beauty Blender Cleanser. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Um, so I decided I was gonna pick up some more cleanser but then I happened to see this bundle available on Sephora and I think the price was, I'll throw it up on the screen, I wanna say it was maybe like 22 or so before the discount, obviously, for this, and I was like, you know what, why, why not get the cleanser and another beauty sponge, since I know my other beauty sponge is getting kind of dingy anyway. This was a great deal, like I said, I'm gonna throw up the pricing of everything on the screen, but if you are needing a beauty blender or the cleanser, this is a great option because you're not really paying that much more than you would for just the beauty blender. And I absolutely love this cleanser. It's the only brush cleanser I use. I've tried to use other brush cleansers before, but I always go back to the beauty blender kind and I just love it. So this is like the first kind of essential item that I picked up. Then let me just jump into the repurchases really quick, then we can get on to the new stuff. So I ended up repurchasing my Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I am currently using the soy, uh, the fresh soy makeup, or it's like the fresh soy cleanser, that's what it is. And I decided I wanted to just go back to this one just to like switch it up. I know, I don't know, I just kinda wanted to try this one again. And this one is a little bit cheaper than the soy cleanser by Fresh, and I've used this one before. I've gone through an entire bottle. I don't really, I don't have anything negative really to say about it. This is my morning cleanser. I do intend to do an updated skincare video for night and morning, so definitely hit the subscribe button if you wanna see that down the road but I'm just gonna switch it up and go to the pharmacy one. I absolutely love pharmacy, so what can I say? This is a the second time I'm repurchasing this. And then the next item that, I'm repur that I repurchased, this is the second time I'm purchasing it, is the Whey Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I can't tell you how much I literally love this product. Now, I'm almost through my first bottle of it, and I honestly didn't have high hopes because every time I try a leave-in conditioner, there's just something that I don't love about it. Whether I have to use too much, or it just doesn't really make my hair brush out easy. I have fine hair, and I was told by a hairdresser that when you have fine hair, it tangles a lot easier. Tangled hair is something I have struggled with my whole life. I've literally pulled out like chunks of hair trying to brush it out sometimes. So I gave this a try, and one thing I do love about it is that it is a spray, so that's awesome. You don't have to get your hands all in it. And I tried this out for the first time, and I could not believe how smooth my hair brushed out. I mean, when I'm telling you my brush glides like butter, it really does. I highly recommend this. I've been telling anybody that asks me for a recommendation, I tell them this. I've tried so many leave-in conditioners over 
my years on this earth and this one nothing compares this is the first time i'm actually like repurchasing a leave-in conditioner usually i always jump around because like i said i just end up not liking one for one reason or another but this one i can say 100 percent i love it so now that we got through some of the like essentials and repurchases we're on to all the fun stuff so the first thing I picked up, and I actually bought this because I watched Jessica Braun. I love her. There's something about her. I just really love watching her and listening to her talk. And she recommended this. She did like a Sephora like recommendation for the sale. So I decided, what the heck, let me try something she recommends. And that is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I know this is nothing new in the beauty community. This is nothing new in the beauty community. This is something that's been around for a long time, but I'm kind of, sometimes I'm like late to the train when it comes to certain items. So I really wanted to pick this up and give this a try. I usually just use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is very moisturizing. And then occasionally I will use my Tatcha Silk Canvas, like right in the pore area for pore filling purposes. But I really wanted to just try a new primer. I haven't tried a new primer in so long, and she said this does make your skin look pretty glowy, so I'll be curious to try this out. And I do wanna note that I do intend to do a video trying out all the new products that I got. So again, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see that too. But I will be uploading that sometime in the near future because I'm just dying to try these products. Then the next item that I picked up is actually technically a repurchase, but I have a little bit of a backstory to it. So this is the Armani, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I went ahead and picked this up in the shade two. I believe that was like my closest shade. And they actually sell this in a mini size. So I calculated, just so you guys know, a little pro tip here, I calculated and the mini size of this is actually less per, um, I think it was per, it's less per ounce or per milliliter because um, they also have it in milliliter. Whatever it is, it's less per milliliter than the full size. The full size is actually slightly more expensive. So if you can get yourself the mini, then I think that's kind of a better deal because like I said, it is less per milliliter. So I just went with the mini and the reason I say that this is technically a repurchase is because years ago when I like first started really getting into beauty YouTube and doing my makeup more um, you know beyond just like what I did my makeup in high school I had tried this out and I really didn't love it back then but the reason why I wanted to retry it is because number one so many people rave about this foundation number two it is like a luminous a lighter coverage foundation which if you guys follow me on my channel at all you know that i typically just use a tinted moisturizer i don't really use a foundation anymore so i wanted to pick this up again because my makeup habits and techniques have changed so much over the years i feel like i have learned so much when it comes to how to apply makeup i'm still no professional but i do feel like i have actually learned some pretty decent skills so i want to give this another try if i end up hating it again i'll probably return it because it's not cheap even the mini size is not cheap so we'll see i'm hoping that this will work out for me because it would be nice to have an actual like foundation in my collection for going out versus just a tinted moisturizer although i have to say i love just wearing my tinted moisturizer so no hate there i just really wanted to try an actual foundation and i wanted to see if my opinion on this would change now that i kind of do my makeup differently that was a long-winded spiel about one foundation. But then the next thing I got is actually something pretty exciting. This is the Brow Harmony Crayon and Gel Pencil from Rare Beauty. This is Selena Gomez's brand. And I'm actually super excited about this. I really wanted to try some stuff from her brand, but I really wasn't sure what because I wasn't interested in the foundation. I had debated on getting her liquid highlighter Sorry, my hair is really annoying me. <laughs> I had debated trying the liquid highlighter or the liquid blush, which I would like to try the blush at some point, but since I don't really have a brow pencil that I use anymore, I just use shadow for my brows, and I like it, 
but I wanted to try this because it is the pencil and the gel in one product. So that's really nice. So I'm curious to see how this will end up working. I picked up the shade Deep Brown. I'm hoping that that's going to be right. My brows are pretty dark. They're not quite black, but they're pretty close. So that's why I went with Deep Brown. So we shall see how this goes. The next item I got is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Now again, this is something that is not new to the beauty community. This has been around for a long time. I just, I've come, I was going through some of the stuff in my collection and I realized all of my liquid eyeliners are either like old and dried up or like the Kaja one that I have from the Wink Stamp set. I realized that that liquid eyeliner rubs off so quickly. like. By midday, I'll notice like part of my wing is just gone. So I was like, I want to try a liquid liner that actually has staying power. And this one had really great reviews. And I believe I had like a trial size of this at one point and I remember liking it. So I'm hoping that I will like it again. I've really been into doing liquid liner again. I used to always wear liquid liner when I was in high school. I didn't really do a wing. I just always wore it on the top. But now I've been kind of playing around with like baby wings and I really wanted a good liquid liner to be able to do that. Then the next item that I got is something I've been wanting to try for so long ever since I heard um, YouTuber Whitney Simmons talk about it. And that is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Cream Contour, Cream Bronze, whatever you want to say. I really want to try using cream face products and seeing like how it looks compared to using mostly powder products. So again, I am going to be filming a video using all of these things, so stick around for that because this is definitely a new experiment for me. I have never used cream bronzer, cream highlighter, none of that. So I'm pretty excited to give this a whirl. And like I said, Whitney Simmons used to rave about this shade Bondi Bay, so I hope it will look good on me too. Then also in the category of liquid face products, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade... Spotlight. I believe this was one of the lighter um, shades that they had. And I, I remember seeing somebody on YouTube talking about how these were really good. I want to say it was Britt Clark. And then also my friend absolutely loves Charlotte Tilbury. She's like obsessed. So she said these were good. So I decided, what the heck, let me go ahead and pick it up because I've been wanting to try like cream based face products. So I'm really, really excited about this. I do have to say this is quite pricey, especially for like how much you get in it. But if it ends up being great and good, then it will probably be worth it. And I got it on sale, so that makes it a little bit easier to swallow. Then the very last item that I picked up is not a repurchase, but the type of product is a repurchase for me. So I picked up the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. This was another Jessica Braun recommendation, and I also found an older video where Kathleen Lights was raving about this. Now the reason why I say this is a repurchase on this type of product is because I am currently using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation. I have a pretty big pan in there, so I'll definitely be running out of it pretty soon. And I almost re-picked it up because I truly do love it and it probably would have been great paired with the Luminous Silk Liquid Foundation, but it's just so expensive and you know, because Jessica Braun was raving about this and I saw Kathleen Lights also really loved it, I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and give this one a try. It's like a fraction of the cost. I'm pretty sure the Giorgio Armani one is like 60 something and I want to say this was in the 30s. So yeah, quite a big difference. So I'm very excited to give this a try. But anyway, that is all I picked up in the sale. I got a few fun items to try and I'm really excited to do so. So stay tuned for that video because that will be coming in the near future. And I'm just really excited to play with some new makeup and try some new products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I know I've said that so many times, but don't forget so you don't miss any future videos. But also in the comments, let me know, did you pick up anything from the sale? Anything new to you? I want to know if you guys tried anything new recently. Have you tried any of these products? Let me know down below. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.